Hey, <clears throat> hey YouTube. Today we're gonna do something cool. We're gonna show you how to animate a toy model. That's right, animate a toy model and it's gonna be easy. Let's get to it. Oh, hee ho, hee ho, cheeky cheek in a big bowl, like chickens. Like to hatch some eggs to eat them up, eat them up, boga low. Chick chick bum chick bum chick bum chum. I love some chucky. All right, now today's tutorial, easy animation. We're gonna animate a toy model. Uh, so without any further ado, cause I like saying that word, ado, <laughs> I'm going to show you how I do it. So, uh, let's go step by step. Okay. Now the first thing that I do is I take a picture of the model. Uh, sometimes let's just use this as an example. I'll, I'll do it on a white background and I bought some of this plastic off Amazon and it's made for shooting uh, different things and I just have it on a tripod with a clip on a board uh, just so I can put it in the screen of the uh, <coughs> camera and I use the studio lights that I use for everything else that way it's the same color and everything matches and uh, so um, I also put a piece of paper. If this plastic has a, a shine to it, when you bring it into Photoshop, it's going to be hard to take out some of the background. So as far as the reflection, I don't want a reflection on the bottom. So I put it just a piece of white paper there just to hold off on the reflection. The shadow I'll, I'll take out later. It's not a big deal. So, and I actually use my video camera to, it's a, it's a HD camera. And I use the HD camera to take a few frames of the, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a little goose caught in my throat. But um, I use the camera to actually take the picture. And I do that because everything else I use, the puppets, the backgrounds, everything, everything's shot with this camera. Uh, and that way we keep the same color on, on through the uh, uh, video. So anyway, like I said, I take a, f a few shots. Sometimes I'll take a, 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 uh, a top shot of the car just so if you need anything shooting down on it you've got the top of the car I'll do both sides I'll do the front I'll do the back of the model and uh, that way if you need different shots of him driving away or the side or whatever but anyway <clears throat> the first step is taking a picture or a still of the model itself and then once you got that, then we'll head over to Photoshop and I'll show you how I delete the backgrounds and stuff like that. So uh, let's go over there and do it. <laughs> okay, here we are. Now, the first thing we want to do is we're going to want to open the screen grab of that truck. So I'm going to go ahead and open this screen grab with a uh, Photoshop. So open with Adobe Photoshop. Now that we have Adobe Photoshop and we have the actual truck in there, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to duplicate layer. Okay. And the reason why I do that is because the background layer is usually locked. You can unlock that and stuff, but I just to make it easy, I just turn it off. So there's nothing there but the top layer. So now what you want to do, you're going to want to take out all this white out of there. And the easiest way to do that is go over here to your um, magic wand tool, click it. And I have the tolerance up here. If you notice, the tolerance up here is set at 100. I'll start there. And if it takes away some of the truck, then I'll move it down. But let's go ahead and start it at 100% tolerance. And let's click and you can see it's trying to delete right here some of the uh, truck 
So let's go down to half. I'll do 50% tolerance or 50 tolerance and we'll select it. Now it did a better job, but you can see right here, it's taking some of the windshield out. Uh, now, a lot of times I'll stick with it here because there's a lot that it did right. So I'll take the eraser tool and uh, I'll make it a little smaller, of course. And then we're just going to go around where it did it perfectly. And I'll just delete the part that it actually selected in a uh, in the good way. So it also did up here pretty decent. Uh, did the front pretty good. So I'll go ahead and delete all that. Now, um, let's do it again. Let's go ahead and do the magic wand again. Now let's set it down to 30. And let's see how good it does. See, it's not doing very well. It's still getting some of the windshield there. So let's go ahead and delete that out where it's actually decent. It did the hood better. So now that we have the basic outline, what I'll do is it's going to be hard for the magic wand to select there. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in. Let's zoom in on it and you can see the lines there where the magic wand and I'll go up here to the, um, the polygonal lasso tool. And I'll take it right here from this point and I'll click it and then you just go on down with it where the windshield is like that. And then I'll delete that right there by hitting the delete key. Now I'll go back up to select and deselect. Now let's uh, scroll back out. And uh, if you hit control minus, it automatically will zoom out. So you can see that the top of the truck has, has been erased. Now we're going to use that magic wand tool again. And now we're going to do the bottom of the truck. And you can see it did, it did pretty good. Um, so now I'll go over to the eraser tool and I'll go around the truck where it's, you know, pretty decent. Uh, go back up to the magic wand. Let's do underneath the truck. And you can see there's some artifacts that it didn't pick up, but what you're looking for is the good line because you can come back and take those out when you need to. And I just repeat the process until everything's gone. You see that did pretty good there. So I'll repeat the process. Go ahead and delete around the actual vehicles best I can with the um, magic wand. And the reason why I use the magic wand, it's just a lot simpler to use. It's quick and easy. And, um, and I'll go around the, t the uh, shape here because then what will happen is then you can select the whole background here. I'll show you select this and you see how most of it's been selected and I'll go and hit delete. Now the top of the car has been deleted um, and being that you have a window here, you're going to want to delete that out as well, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm just trying to show you how the easy way to uh, delete some of this stuff. Now as far as the wheels are concerned, you don't really have to keep the wheel because we're, we are going to put a wheel on top of this so you can delete the wheel out you can delete all this stuff out of here and you can erase it or use the magic wand um, but the wheels not gonna matter cuz like I'm gonna animate the wheel and we're gonna add the wheel of choice so you just want to clean this up best you can and I'll just use the eraser tool here and get as close to the body as I can and um, you can change the size of the eraser tool or you can use the uh, rectangular marquee tool and you can just do it all at once like this and hit delete um, deselect go back to the eraser 
And uh, like I said, you can take this wheel out. Like I said, we're not going to use it. Um, delete that too. Might as well delete this too since I got this tool. And uh, now, when you use the select tool, you want to deselect because when you go to, if you want to, if you're trying to erase something and it won't erase, and you're like, why isn't it? It's because something is selected and you can only erase inside that selection. So we'll go back to this. Now, if you want to see what actually is left, because a lot of times it, when you use the magic wand tool, it'll actually not delete everything. And there might be some like little pixels that haven't been deleted. So an easy way to check that is go ahead and um, go to the blending options. Um, and if you double click right here in the corner of the uh, uh, layer, it'll automatically, if you double click that right there on the corner, it'll automatically bring up the layer style, which is the blending options. But anyway, you hit stroke. Now, now that there's a stroke on there, you can actually see that stuff that wasn't deleted by the selection tool. See, there's a little dot here. You can delete that and all these little dots here. You just clean it up using the stroke tool. It allows you to see what wasn't actually deleted. So um, just use your eraser and erase all the little artifacts that were left by the selection tool. And you've pretty much got rid of the background of the truck and uh, so I've already done this I've already cleaned it up if you go over here to the um, uh, the layer you can take off that stroke just by hitting the little eye and now the it's cleaned up the background has been taken out and um, that's basically the truck now Let's go over, well, I need to take this out as well. Um, let's go ahead and use the tolerance tool. It probably won't do it because the color is too similar. Oh, there it goes. So go over here. Once we select that, hit delete, select that, hit delete. Now the window is transparent and you can actually see the background. So there's our truck. Um, and now what we want to do is we're going to bring this truck over. Let's just file save as we're going to save it in this Raptor folder that I've already set up. We're going to save it as Raptor. Typing with one hand, it's a little slow. <laughs> All right. So there is our Raptor. We've going to save it as a Photoshop. If you look down here, you see it's a, a Photoshop document. Gosh, I got a little gnat flying around me. It's about to bug me, drive me up the wall. I know why they call them bugs now, because they bug the crap out of you. <laughs> Stupid bug. So we've named it Raptor, and now we're going to save it in our folder. So now you can basically close out Photoshop. Now what we want to do is go down to Premiere, and let's open up a new Premiere project. And I have basically everything saved. Uh, you know, I basically have all the presets. So let's just do a new project. We're going to put it in that Raptor folder. And we're just going to select the folder. And then we'll name it Raptor. We'll name it Raptor as well. So now that we have a new Premiere file started, check out, make sure it's everything that we want it to be as far as the, um, the preset. And uh, I'll just keep it as sequence one and we hit OK. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to import those files that you made and the wheels that I've already made up and I'll show you the different wheels, but Let's go ahead and uh, import. We'll go back to that Raptor file. And I already have some wheels here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select 
all the files we well actually i'm gonna um select one gosh that bug and hit control and i'm gonna show you how you can switch different wheels out so we got the raptor and yes merge all layers and then merge all layers on the wheels so now we got the raptor and the wheels now we're going to want to do a background and i there's a background that i use all the time for this and it's just called blue and this uh i use it on all my animation blue seems to work good um because i use green backgrounds and it's just a good color all around for me to use to chroma key the animations so let's go ahead and bring that blue over now we probably only want to make this animation 32 seconds or around about 32 seconds and now let's bring in the raptor let me uh, um, show you the monitor so you can actually see what I'm working on here so and I'll make it a little bigger so here's our blue background and now let's go ahead and bring in the Raptor and we'll put it down here on the bottom because we're going to put the wheels on top all right so there's our Raptor the one we edited the one we photoshopped and took all everything out now let's go ahead and bring a wheel in here now the wheel I actually just took a photo cleaned it up the same way we cleaned up the Raptor so go ahead and place it on top the top layer and drag it over so it's the same length and there's our wheel and like I said I just took a picture of a model wheel and let's go ahead and resize that wheel select a layer go up here to motion and let's scale it down a little bit and we're gonna put that wheel where it should be Okay, somewhere like that. Maybe just c cover up the wheel that was there. And so now that we have the wheel there, let's go ahead and add some rotation to it. So put the rotation keyframe here. Go all the way to the end. And rotate that wheel. And I'll, I'll go up to like, I don't know, 30. Now let's play it and just see if the speed is as fast as we want that wheel to rotate and I would say that's pretty good so now what we want to do is if we want to put a back wheel here let's go ahead and duplicate that wheel hit copy move your uh, your timeline over a little bit so when you go to paste edit paste it doesn't paste it on anything that's selected over here so let's go ahead and drag that to the top layer and basically it's on top of this one and you can't see it so select that layer go up here to position and move that baby on back now the reason why I do that is because if you notice it's at the exact same level as the other wheel and I can put that there now it's already anim animated because I copied and pasted the actual wheel so let's go ahead and play it now both wheels are rolling and that's pretty cool right so now let's say you don't like the wheels or it's not covering up part of it and this one's got spoke so let's go up here to wheel chrome and go down to replace footage and let's go and try another wheel which happens to be the exact same dimensions and I've got a black wheel I've got a here's one I made it's not actually a photograph of a wheel but it's a handmade wheel let's select it and show you what it looks like so when I replace that footage do you see over here it automatically updated the wheel and guess what it's actually animated already you don't have to go reanimate it but this wheel looks kinda cheap and cheesy I do have another wheel made so let's go up here and replace footage and let's do the uh, a wheel black 
Now check out these wheels. These, these wheels actually look similar to the actual Raptor wheels. So let's go ahead and now let's play it and see what it looks like. Those are pretty cool. So I do like those wheels. I think I'm going to use these wheels. But if you notice, it looks like the Raptor is kind of, the front end is higher than the back. So let's select on the Raptor layer. Go up here to motion. And let's rotate the Raptor a little bit so it's more level. I think that looks pretty good. And then you may have to adjust the wheels. So I'll do the um, front wheel first. And I'll position it so it's more where it needs to be. And then I'll go to the back wheel and position it where it needs to be. And I'm trying to get a little bit of area through the wheel well here. And if you notice right here, I actually forgot to delete a little bit. That would be the background, but that's okay. This is just for display purposes. So now we have this cool Raptor truck animation. Now, if this truck wasn't at an angle, you would want to see another set of wheels on the other side to make it more of a 3D. But I'm just trying to show you an easy way to animate this truck. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to File. Um, actually, why don't we um, import Timmy? We'll put Timmy in this truck here or Professor Clunk or somebody. And uh, I'm going to get a puppet still that I already have made up. And uh, let's go ahead and put in um, uh, 127 right here is Professor Clunk. So we're going to put Professor Clunk in there. And you put it on the top layer. And now we're going to select that layer, and then we're going to scale him down. And we're going to put him in that truck. Now, if you notice, he's not really fitting in there too good because there the it's not a straight line on the door there. It's actually moved. So what I did is I created what they call a mat. And I don't necessarily want to do that here because I'm just showing you an easy way to do this. So let's go down to video effects. We'll go to transform and we'll go to crop. Drag the crop effect over. And now we can crop Professor Clunk. Uh, and we'll do something like that. Maybe rotate him a little bit just so he looks like he's in the truck better. So anyway, that's Professor Clunk. He's in the car. I've cropped him to make him look like he's driving. And like I said, there's other ways. That I'll show you on a different video how to lay a mat over this so it looks like he's inside. I don't want to take the time to do that. We'll do that on another video. And I'll show you how to use a mat so it looks like he's inside. So anyway, there is Professor Clunk. He's actually driving the Raptor. There's the animation. And so now, let's go up here. And you need to scrub the timeline, because if you don't, it'll export whatever's selected. So we're going to um, export the timeline, so we want to scrub it, select the timeline. Do Media. We're going to go to H.264. We're going to go to an HD. I like working with HD. That's actually the setup that I did for this actually this actual project. Select HD 1080p, 29 frames per second. We're going to name this Sequence 1. We'll go back up to the Raptor file and hit Save and right down here is export. So now we're exporting that animation that we did. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little animation of him driving down the road. And uh, it'll be fairly easy. And once I animate this, I'll show you what the animation looks like. 
I haven't done that in the past, but this time I'm going to actually show you what the animation looks like. So sitting and waiting, waiting to render, render and waiting, waiting and render. Okay, that was only, I don't know, 32 seconds, so it didn't take long. So anyway, now that we, if you look here, you'll see that we have the sequence here um, that we just rendered. Let's go ahead and play it and see what it looks like. So there's the animation of the truck, with Professor Clunk inside. So now what we want to do is we're going to make a video or an animation of him driving on a background. Let's see if it saved it. Okay, so now that we have the um, uh, a new Photoshop or a new Premiere, I called it un Untitled. Now that we have a new um, Untitled Premiere project, what you want to do is you want to import the things that you need. Um, we'll go back to the Raptor. We're going to import the Raptor animation. And we're going to go import a background. And like I said, I have a ton of backgrounds. And go ahead and take that background down. It's going to be your bottom layer. And what you're going to do is you're going to do a position keyframe. And we're going to move the frame back a little bit. And then go down here and let's move the other keyframe on down. So if you play this animation, you will see that the background is moving. Okay. So now that you have that animation in the background layer, then you go ahead and bring down your Raptor. And you want to go over to Video Effects, go down to Keying, go to Color Key, drag it over to the Raptor animation, go up here to the Eyedropper tool, and select the background that you want to remove. And then use the scrubber to delete the background. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Raptor. I'm just going to scale it down a little bit so he's a little smaller. And bring him down like this. Now, now that's basically it. So there he is. Professor Clunk is driving down the road. Yum, yes. I do believe that I'm driving down the road in my Ford Raptor. Um, yes, I do believe so. Ha 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 ha. That's uh, Professor Clunk's voice. So anyway, driving on down the road. And that's that. Yum, yes, I do believe so. Yum, yes, <laughs> All right, all right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, easy animation video, how I animate models. Um, there's tons of ways to do it, and I'm just showing you the way that I do it. Maybe it'll help you with your kids channel or any kind of animation that you plan to do. I'm hoping to give you tips in Photoshop. This is stuff that I learned on my own. Nobody else showed me. I learned it on my own and I'm just spreading the information out there so other people can have as much fun as I do shooting models and animation and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. You guys be sure to share, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good old stuff. I would appreciate it. And uh, come back and see us here at the Timmy Tube Network. All right, see you later. I love some chucky. I like beef chutney. Beef chutney. Beef, 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 beef chutney. Beef, beef, beef chutney. Beef, beef, beef chutney. Beef, beef chutney. I like a big fat beef chutney.